Hi, it's Scott from Saco Sport and Fitness. It's been a while since I shared an update and I'd like to bring you up to speed and to ask for your help. First, the update. We've been busy making lots of improvements and researching and implementing ways to keep you safe when you return. We've added outdoor classes and in-club personal training to our virtual programs and it's been great to see so many of you back at the club. The hydro massage beds are in and we'll be ready to help you relax when we reopen. We were scheduled to open June 1st, but last week the governor pulled the rug out from underneath us and backed up our opening indefinitely. We will not bill any membership dues until we reopen. Rest assured, the June 1st billing has been canceled. The governor cited a study out of South Korea at a Zumba instructor training as the reason for keeping us closed. 22 people were packed in a 650 square foot room. That's about three quarters the size of a racquetball court, where each participant had less than five feet of space around them. Eight instructors contracted COVID and then spread it to their respective studios. This happened February 15th two weeks before South Korea issued social distancing guidelines and a month before shutting down clubs. They simply didn't know. The study also found that yoga and Pilates in the same space did not have any transmission, thought to be because of less movement, more space, and lighter breathing. Now that we better understand disease transmission and COVID safety protocols from the CDC and the WHO, we can create adequate social distancing and sanitation policies. For example, we will allot eight to 10 feet of space between participants in classes, and all equipment in the club is now at least six feet apart. There's an important conversation we're starting to have. It's how the stay at home order is affecting our health. Activity is down, food and alcohol consumption are up, depression is on the rise, and our immune systems are getting weaker. Exercise truly is medicine. It improves physical, mental, and immune system health. Yet not everyone can do it on their own at home. Many need the support and motivation of instructors and a community. Fitness centers can be safe. 28 states have already opened their fitness centers and Monday, Rhode Island and New Hampshire will also open with appropriate safety guidelines in place. The day after the governor extended the shutdown, I got on the phone and called every club owner I could find and formed a coalition of now 30 and growing health club owners in Maine. We met on Thursday and have the goal to work with the governor's office to safely open fitness centers as soon as possible. Over the weekend, we created a set of safety guidelines for all fitness centers in the state. We drew best practices from the CDC, WHO, other states, and from other industries in Maine that have already had their state guidelines approved. We wrote a letter to the commissioner challenging that study as being applicable to our entire industry and making the case of the power of exercise and fitness centers to safely improve Mainers health. We delivered those to the commissioner Tuesday morning, requesting an audience to work together to find ways we can help you be healthier. I've attached these guidelines for your review. And now the ask. If you believe fitness centers can safely reopen using these guidelines and want your voice to be heard, please use the link below to send a message to the state's feedback page. You can copy and paste the letter below we wrote on your behalf, that would be really good, Add some of your own comments, even better, or write your own comments, which would be awesome. There is great power in the voices of constituents, and it will help us all get back in the club sooner. If you don't feel comfortable yet, or you want to better understand what we'll be doing for your safety, feel free to reach out to me and share your thoughts. We'd love to hear from you. We are anxious to get back to helping you be healthy. Till we see you again, be physically distant, be kind, stay active, and connected to each other.